what do you think about this whole Android, you know, the Android Wear element? I just, my worry is that, you know, for us, we look at, you know, we see smartwatches, we get to try them out and everything. They seem really cool. Mm. And I still struggle to explain to the person on the street why you'd really want a smartwatch. And I think with, you know, with I.O., you saw a real change in that. It seemed like this, there was so many ways that it looked like it made the smartwatch interesting. Obviously, very voice enabled, mm. which, you know, the Galaxy Gear didn't really have. It had the opportunity, but it never worked. Yeah. This seemed like a lot more, like, set a reminder, when I get home, tell me to do something, and it, and it instantly worked. It seems like far more cohesive than anything we've seen yeah. before. Uh, smartwatches previously have been a bit fragmented. They do some things well, but they do a lot of things not so well as well. Whereas, yes, the Google Wear thing pulls everything together. There's more options um, on your wrist. It's basically the entire of Google Now shrunk down into yeah. a, a watch size. And, the, the, you know, the interesting thing was that apps themselves as well would be ported, you know, I think it would require a little bit of developing, but the apps themselves on the phone, if there's a watch version, it will instantly appear on your watch. And because the, 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 the platform is stable, it doesn't matter which watch it is, it'll know how to do it. Um, and, you know, we saw cool things like that recipe app that, you know, it says when you get to the fourth one, you know, you'll put it in the oven for four hours, you press the four, starts a timer. Yep. That's really clever. but. Does that mean that every developer needs to go in there and add that functionality, or will it be a little bit more intuitive than that? And that's the key question. If, if everything becomes intuitive, people don't have to do anything, and the watch and the phone together work out the optimum way to do things, that's brilliant. That's what you want. You want things like you know, the, being told your flight is delayed, or that you know, a boarding pass on your wrist is going to be annoying because you don't want to hand your wrist over to the flight attendant. But ultimately, yeah, there's lots of cool things about Android Wear that I liked. In the same way as Android TV, I think that sounds like a really big move forward, you know, they've got Sony signed up, uh, Sharp, uh, Philips, all going to be having Android TVs next year, that, that, that's amazing, and you know, given how Google TV didn't really take off, or didn't take off at all, you know, the idea of having a phone interface that connects to your device on the, you know, on the lap in the sofa really makes a lot of sense, and I think that could be a real big win.